What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman for AwesomeO.com, and I am back with my NBA DFS contenders on DraftKings for Sunday, which I almost forgot the date it, in its entirety. I just recorded FanDuel and said the date out loud twice, and I already forgot it. Sunday, April 24th. Now, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comment section who your favorite plays are, and then go sign up at No House Advantage using the promo code AWESOMO so that you can get yourself $25 on your first deposit. In at number five, we've got Alex Caruso, point guard, shooting guard, eligible, 5K, projected for 28 and a half. The goal is 32, and he's in the optimal lineup 30% of the time. The Bulls have really narrowed down this rotation. Uh, we know that, or at least we assume, Alex Caruso is going to be playing heavy minutes. I have him in for 36.8 fantasy points per minute. His stat line is comical, but it all adds up to a really good play. 13% usage, nine points, five boards, five assists, two and a half stocks, pace up spot against Milwaukee. They're without Chris Middleton. It's a relatively close game from a line perspective, four and a half point underdogs in this one at home. I'll take that, honestly. If it's competitive, Caruso is going to be out there playing as much defense as he can. And he only has to hit each, each statistical category a couple times before he's already at his GPP goal. Now at number four, we've got Nikola Vucevic. He is center eligible, 7,900, projected for 47 and a half. The goal is 50, and he's in the optimal lineup 30% of the time. I gave 38 minutes to Vooch, 1.25 fantasy points per minute. He actually fits this series pretty well. Um, the way that he provides offense is sort of what the Bucks defense is willing to give up. So 20 points, 13 boards, four assists, and two stocks for Vooch. 24% usage. Again, I like the matchup. I like the pace up spot. I think it has to be competitive. And I don't think 7,900 for Vooch is all that crazy of a price tag for today. At number three, we've got Zach Levine, shooting guard, small forward, eligible, 7,400, projected for 46. The goal is 47. He's in the optimal lineup 37% of the time. You can see we took a step up in tier here over Vooch. 40 minutes for Levine. That's what's going to have to happen if this one is competitive and the Bulls want to move on. 1.16 fantasy points per minute for Levine. Levine this is just a better uh, site for Levine. Uh, the price is better for Levine on FanDuel, but the scoring is better for Levine on DraftKings. 29% usage, 28 real points, five boards, five assists, and a stock. Same matchup that we talked about for Vooch. Same matchup that we talked about for Alex Caruso. I think it's just a really good day to roster some bulls. You can see DeMar DeRozan also in at number six. At number two, we go to Miami for Bam Adebayo. He's center eligible, 7,100, projected for 44. The goal is 45, and he is in the optimal lineup 37% of the time. We saw Bam get back up into bigger minutes in this last one. So 35 minutes for Bam, 1.25 fantasy points per minute. 26% usage, 21 points, 12 boards, three assists, two and a half stocks. We don't know if Capella is playing or not, but we have to assume that if he does, he's mildly compromised. If he doesn't, you get min more minutes for John Collins at center. That's not slowing Bam Adebayo down either way. I like it. No matter what news we get out of Clint Capella, I still want to get to a very healthy amount of Bam Adebayo. Now, before we get to that number one contender, one last reminder, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comments section who your favorite plays are, and then go sign up at No House Advantage using the promo code AWESOMO so you can get $25 on your first deposit. The number one contender for today's slate is Herb Jones. Small forward, power forward, eligible, 4,600, projected for 28 and a half. The goal is 29 and a half, and he's in the optimal lineup 43% of the time. I'm not entirely sure why his price is what it is. Herb Jones is playing massive minutes. We know CJ's going for 40 or more. We know Brandon Ingram's flirting with 40. Herb Jones is the only other guy playing monster minutes. I got him in for 38 here. He's a 0.75 fantasy point per minute guy. So he's not a total, he's not the like Wes Matthews of the world. 14% usage, 12 points, five boards, three assists, three stocks in a pace up spot against Phoenix in a game that should be close. They're only two and a half point dogs at home. I just totally, I don't understand why Herb Jones isn't seeing the price bump after seeing the big minutes bump for the past three games. So you still need to take advantage of the value right now. Herb Jones is your number one contender on DraftKings.
Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on DraftKings for Sunday, April 24th. FanDuel version is around here somewhere, so check it out. Good luck tonight, everybody. Win some money. We are back again tomorrow morning for another edition of The Contenders.